Hi guys, this is Amalia with Crafty Dreams Studio. Thank you for joining me today. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would truly appreciate it if you did. And don't forget to hit that little notification icon so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. If you're on Facebook, you can find me there under Crafty Dreams Studio. And I would so appreciate it if you followed and liked my page there. If you see anything that I demonstrate today that you love and have to have, you can purchase it at craftydreamstudio.com. I truly appreciate all the purchases made on my online store. And without any further ado, let's get started. Today we're doing ornaments, but these ornaments are different than the ones I've showed you before. We're going to use our Warm Wishes Minis. Look at all these beautiful options you have. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and get started cutting these up. I think for today, why don't we do this one up here that says Good Cheer. And I just love the transfer uh, scissors. They just cut so nicely. So we have that one. And you know what, let's do the star. We're gonna work on two today because I'm gonna show you two different options that you have. Of course, you can use whatever surface you want, but we have some really great surfaces that will turn these into ornaments super quick and so affordably. So you can hand them out to coworkers, to friends, to really anybody that you want to give a little something to. So again, and you can give them a set of ornaments, you can give them one, completely up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these out of the way. And we have our chockable chips. Our chockable chips come in black and they come in white. So you have two great options. So let's get these opened up and I will show you how easy it is to chalk on these. So let's get a white one out and let's get a black one, okay. So now what I like to do first, and I encourage that you do this, is go ahead and put your, punch your hole out where you're gonna hang it from. Now the reason I do this is because you want to know where your hole is so that way you can place your transfer correctly where you want it. So this is a crocodile and this is what I use to punch the hole out of my uh, little chocolate chips. So all you do is you stick it in and then you press. Ta-da, look at how fast and easy that was. Okay, and then take your next one and you can make the hole as low or as high as you want it. So I'm going to go with this one a little bit higher up. Oops, excuse me. See, and the little thing just pops out. So fast and easy. So now I'm gonna do this one. And there we go. There's the white one, all done. So let's see, which one are we going to do where? Let's go ahead, we'll do the good cheer here. And let's do the star over here. So this is super fast and easy. This is a brand new transfer, so I'm going to fuzz it up which simply means I'm going to remove some of the stickiness off the back because our transfers come with lots of lots of stick, which is good. That's how your transfers last you for many, many uses. All right, let's get this out of the way. So now all you have to do is line up your transfer where you want it. So I want to make sure that it is centered. And trust me, if this is probably going to be the hardest part, just <laughs> lining it up where you want it. All right, that, that looks good to me. What do y'all think? There we go. So I'm just gonna press it down making sure I have good, good adhesion to the chip. Like that. And then, hmm, I think I'm gonna go 
two-toned on this. I'm going to use our gold, but I will also use our red. Let's see. I think I will do good cheer in gold, and then I will do these little bursts right here in red. Okay, so let me open up my paste. Oh, look at that gorgeous color. Then I'm going to take my little stir stick, and I'm just gonna stir to make sure I have good consistency, and that looks good. This is gonna be so fast and easy. I'm gonna be using the squeegee that I cut up to make it a little smaller. Now you can also use your multi-tool if you have the multi-tool. I do, I have the multi-tool, but I just pulled this one out. So this is how easy it is. I'm just going to add some chalk right here. This chalk paste is so beautiful. This is our shimmer red. And look, that was so fast and easy. Now I'm just going to remove it. The extra and stick it back in the container. Did you see how little I used? Now for this, I am going to lift it up. I'm gonna break the seal because I don't want the chalkology paste, oh look at how beautiful, to dry up on me. I'll just get that last little bit. I think I missed a spot. Perfect. So um, so I don't want it to dry up on me. So that's why you just kind of break the seal and then you can move on to your next color. So our next color is gold. And once again, stir, stir, stir. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous color. Absolutely love it. Once again, I'm gonna use one that I've kind of cut up. And now I'm going to do the good cheer. You can use any color combination you want. This is gonna be so easy to match up to your decor or to the decor of whoever you're giving it to, or perhaps you wanna do their favorite colors. It's a perfect little gift. And then of course you can also do, give them a set of ornaments if you would like. That's why it makes such a perfect gift. Okay, so now I'm going to remove all the extra. And as you can see, this is going by so fast and easy, super easy. All right, and then once again, I'm going to lift to break the seal. Oh, look at that, absolutely loving it. So now I just need my last little piece. So I'm gonna get some more of my red and I'm gonna do the, the last little part. And it's that easy, guys. These will be great for craft fairs as well if you do craft fairs. There we go. So now let me lift this up uh, where you can see it. Okay, I missed a little bit on the bottom. That's another reason I like to go ahead and lift a little bit at a time. Now I have, when you're doing this at home, you can get right over it and you'll be able to see better. I'm over here kind of to the side. All right, let me lift that up. Perfect. Oh, look at how gorgeous that looks. Now I do have a container of water over here to the side where I'm sticking my transfer. Look at that one, it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my red away and let's work on the white one. The white one, I'm going to do the star. So let me move this over too. Because trust me, if I can stick my finger in it and get dirty, I will. Again, just removing from the backer. Getting my towel back. Absolutely love this towel. It's a fuzzing cloth on one side, and then it has this beautiful microfiber on the other side for drying. 
So just removing some of the stickiness. Super fast and easy. If you love what I'm doing and you are ready to join my team, I would love that. There is a link in the description box. There is also my email in the description box. So if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them for you. So just contact me, send me an email, and I will get with you uh, about any questions you may have. All right, so let's get this where we want it. And I'm trying to get it as close to where my little, where I put my little hole. Kind of even there, but it's a star, so really anywhere you put it, it's going to look good. And again, you know, when you're doing it this, this at home, you can get right over it and it'll be easier for you to line up. And I, I like it there. So I'm going to put it right there, pressing down, making sure I have no air bubbles in the transfer area. And now I'm just going to get my charcology paste and I'm going to use gold. Let's see how the gold looks on the white. So you have two options here. You can do the white chocolate chips, you can do the black chocolate chips, or you can do both. Like I said, it's totally up to your creativity and what you would like to do. What is going to match your decor? So making sure I get all the nooks and crannies with this little star. And see how easy that was? Now I'm just going to remove and replace the extra back into the container. Let's see, there we go. Okay, I think that looks good. Making sure to get the extra off the little tips of the stars. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to lift up and do the reveal. And like I said, I like to go slow because if I miss the spot, it's easy for me just to lay it back down and go over it again. Oh, look at how beautiful that star looks. Love it. There you go, guys. Did you see we made two ornaments? Super fast, super easy, and they came out super cute. You can use any colors you like. And there you have it. If you like this project, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to share it with any friends or family that you think would enjoy this. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day or night, wherever you are.